Okay, hello everyone. You probably hate me again. Um... Hello everyone, welcome back to Was That TMI. If you're new here, my name is Sadie Curl. This podcast, we tell the truth, hold truth, nothing but the truth. I actually just fucked that up. I haven't been here in so long. Okay, so we're deep diving today. We're deep diving, we're raging, we are spitting nothing but facts, in my opinion, and we're holding back for absolutely no one because I'm so just over and done with and it might seem like I'm complaining but I'm not I just want to prove a point to you guys um so just to get into things if you're new here if you're not if you haven't been here for that long since the beginning I'm sure some of you haven't I've been doing this shit since I was literally 15 years old and I don't mean a podcast I just mean being online sharing my life whatever and I'm very very personal and that's my choice it's my decision I do that just on my own um no one's telling me I need to be that way I've just always been an open fucking book to you guys and I I love it I love it and I am so blessed because you guys will say to me sometimes like I wouldn't be the person I am without you I wouldn't be who I am without you because you guys accepted me for being that way and so because of the I guess reaction I get from y'all by the way I act is the reason why I act this way and I'm able to just say what I want and I don't know I don't want this to come off rude but just like not give not give a fuck that's my whole brand is I'm just like I don't fucking care like if you think I'm ugly stupid I don't care be a nice person as long as you think I'm a nice person that's all I care about you guys are like what the fuck where is this episode going we haven't seen you in four weeks can we get a life update first life update really quickly um I'm doing really good there's been a lot of build-up lately of things I've just been thinking about dealing with I think I've kind of been a little bit lost which that's totally okay I feel like everyone is always anyways and I think I've just been not the happiest lately and that's fully because of like myself um I'm someone who completely is like you got to make yourself happy before you can rely on others to make you happy or just whatever so I've just been not stressing myself out over the fact that I haven't been like on this podcast very consistently after I literally said I would be and I'm not trying to laugh about that I think I've also explained to you guys I don't make money from this I'm not on some sort of agreement with sponsors or things like that to where it's like granted I don't really fucking care like I make money other ways and I love doing this anyways because I just love talking to you guys about especially what I'm about to get into. Like, that's why I love this podcast because it's just raw, real, whatever. If I get sponsors, whatever, I don't think they'll give a shit. I don't know. But just signing with people, signing papers, fucking going down that path of like industry shit, it comes with a fucking cost. And yeah, you're making money, but it's also like you have to listen to people. You don't really fuck with their opinions on things. You don't think that they have the best interest for you. You don't think that it's like, we're going to, we're going to get into all of it. But basically what I'm trying to say is I don't make money off this. I don't really give a fuck, but it can't be my number one priority. And I've talked about that a lot. I have to focus on other things like the tanning company, merch, YouTube, which I don't make a lot of money off YouTube anymore because I, it's a company that pays you themselves. And when you're on there talking out of your ass and cussing like a sailor, they don't appreciate it to the max. But just, I, I make good money and I'm fine. I'm just trying to say, like, I can't make this my number one priority when it's not, when I have to be focused on other things. And I do stay pretty busy. Um, we're just going to get into a lot today. But I want to say, I'm not trying to make excuses for the podcast. I just can't make any promises. So I'm no longer making (laughs) excuses. I just literally snot boogered. I just did a snot missile onto my face. Um, I can't make any promises to you guys, but I'm not going to keep making excuses. Just know that I'm not necessarily sure what's happening with what's that TMI right now. I'm going to keep doing it because I love it, but I can't promise you guys a day, a time, whatever. And when I do, you guys don't get the fucking, I'm not like, go listen to this episode. It's great. I'm like, I uploaded. Thank God. Like I I got it up. And for me, it's like, I want to be able to come on here, talk about things I want to talk about, talk about things you want to hear about. 
and you guys be like, that was fucking a great episode, Sadie, or like, I needed to hear that versus me like, sorry, I need to crack something versus me just like force feeding you guys shit because I want to get the episode out on Sunday at 8 p.m. You know what I mean? So yeah, um, that's the whole story with that. I don't know where I was a second ago. Hold on. I'm not writing this episode out at all. I'm literally free balling. Anyways, We're going to get into the whole signing contracts with people in this industry. I want to talk about today, I get so many questions about if I want to get into social media, how do I do it, what do I do, what are like things I should be doing, whatever. I want to get into all of that because I get asked all the fucking time and I personally, my lips are peeling, (laughs) I personally think the way I did it and the things I've learned over the past four years-ish and seen... I'm so glad I did it the way I did it, and I think if you're looking for things that I'm looking for in life, which, like, I don't really give a fuck to be, like, famous. I don't really care to fucking go walk on New York Fashion Week's red carpet and have an article written about me. I don't really give a fuck. I'm just, like, if I can... I genuinely enjoy making videos like this. I genuinely enjoy making YouTube videos and editing them. I enjoy being someone that someone can say... I watch you online, you make me laugh and make me happy. In times I'm not, or you taught me this, helped me realize this. I just enjoy that. And I'm like, if I can do that and make a steady income, I'm fucking good. I don't need an article about how I'm fucking the greatest person alive. I don't give a shit. And so that's why it's just like, if you're looking for something, I'm gonna close that. If you're looking to do social media and obtain just an audience that fucks with you for you and make an income from it, I'm your girl. I'll help you out here, but I'm not going to be able to tell you how to go to, I don't know, LA, New York, and become the most famous person there. I have no fucking idea. Um, So I want to talk about that a little bit on this episode. I also want to just talk about where I've been happiness-wise, why I've felt the way I have. McKinley's calling me one second. Recently about things and just... Anyways, recently I think... I've struggled a lot with this whole social media world because it's nothing like what it was when I started. And I think even when I say things like, you know, I'm not getting paid from this podcast and I obviously would want it to turn into something where I I do. And I know I can, like, I know I can go do things to make money from it. I don't want it to, I don't want to make this about money. I don't want you guys to get the wrong idea of this. It's just watching other people have like a full on studio and all of that. I'm like, fuck, I need that. I need like a support system behind it. I need help with ideas. I need the good microphones that do good. I need the cameras that do good. And then I just get in my head of like, I should be making money off of this and I'm not and I do want to set myself up like for a career in this field but it it like I said then you deal with the fact you have to listen to other people you have to let other people be in control of things people that you don't necessarily trust because at a standpoint you are money to them your money going their way so let's just say a company comes to me they want to do my podcast, bring me sponsorships, whatever. And I say, okay, cool. So I'm then put in a studio somewhere, which by the way, I would probably have to move if I wanted to have a company get me a studio. I don't know. And then they're going to say, you need to upload every week at this time. And even if you can't, we don't care, which I get like, if you have a job that's a nine to five, you're there every day at nine. There's no fucking questions asked. My job being to entertain and I guess from what I've made this into, be real. Like, I want to be fucking real and I want to, like, I feel like a part of being real is not coming on here and faking it. So, if I'm having a bad fucking, like, week and I don't even know what to talk about and I feel stupid and I don't want to make my episode depressing, it's like, I'm not fucking doing one. And I, I, love y'all because you guys appreciate that like you guys are like she's not just gonna put something out there to put it out there and make a buck and that's what it is when it's like you got to upload every week it's Sunday at this time because this agency is not going to want to be with you if you don't and then also don't talk about x y and z don't whatever whatever I'm just like fuck that I'd rather not but also I'm like okay 
I'm such a big person and I've done this my whole, I feel like not whole time, but just over the years of being in the social media world, I've kind of done it my own way. I feel like, like a lot of people nowadays, they're not still doing merch. Maybe they are. I'm not really a big person. Like I don't really look at everyone's stuff, which I probably should more doing what I do, but I don't think a lot of people are still doing that. Also the tanning company, like fucking I was so scared to do that because I did not have literally any help. God bless my mother because my mother is so into my shit with me. And some people might say they don't want their family involved at all because that's family and you want them to be family. But at the same time, I see it as the best thing in the world because my mom is my family. I trust her the most out of anyone in the world. And yes, I don't want to bring family into business. But at the same time, we can put business in the backseat and I'll never see my mom as a business partner and she'll never see me as a dollar sign she doesn't need me to make money she can go do something else and that's fine she's my mom where it comes first and I'll always trust her I don't know anyways I feel like I've done things my own way so I was like I'm doing was that TMI completely my own way I signed with a company at one point I didn't like the things that they wanted me to do so I was like I want to leave I couldn't post for a few months because of whatever I was like I don't want to do that again then recently I wanted to do it again no one's like done me dirty. It's just, I always, I have a bad feeling about it. And I'm very strong about like, I feel like God gives you signs. And I'm just like, I've never felt fully comfortable with being with companies. Like something just doesn't feel right when I go to do it. And so I'm like, I'm going to do, was that team? I completely on my own. Well, social media has turned into, you know, what when you're on TikTok and you see someone promoing something and this can be a song, a podcast episode, a YouTube video, and every single one looks the exact fucking same. People are making these clips. You got to put them on TikTok. You got to put them on Reels. There's so many different ways you now have to go and promote things. It's not just like you upload a podcast episode and you're done. You upload a podcast episode and then you got to go make 20 clips of it. Then you got to make sure you're posting them on TikTok every day, posting them on Instagram Reels every day, fucking promoting it on different things. It's just, I'm not trying to complain about what I do. I'm blessed to do what I do. It just has turned into something so different from when I began. I started this. All I loved was making YouTube videos and editing them. I found that so fun. I loved it. Then it turned into, I would put them on TikTok. That's what got me to where I am. That's how I blew up. But it was never like making sure you're using the algorithm right and whatever. And now every single fucking person has a million followers on TikTok. So it's like, everything's just the same. Everyone's using the same font because apparently it does better than the other font. You have to put highlight these letters green because that'll do good. I might be speaking a different language to you guys, but seriously, I'm not kidding. This is what it's like when I'm asked, like when people are trying to give you advice on how to grow. They're like, use this font, use these fucking, this app to promote your shit, whatever, whatever, whatever. And I'm just like, I don't like it anymore. I'm like, I don't like it anymore. I don't enjoy it. Like this is not, I would rather go on Instagram and show you guys what my me and my family are doing at my house in Florida in the middle of nowhere, and it does better than me trying to fucking promote all my shit on all these different apps and, like, be, do exactly what I'm supposed to do, use the right analytical times. It just, it's turned into a shit show. Social media has become so, like, saturated, and also, everyone's doing, like, the exact same thing everyone's gonna like everyone wants to wear the exact same thing everyone wants to buy the same products everyone wants to it's just it's so it's not I'm not complaining I love what I do I'll never stop but I'm just gonna be 2020 Sadie like I don't want to do all the other bullshit that comes with it because if I do I can't be 2020 Sadie and I think also a mixed thing that's become like a given me a like persona is that all I do is party now and that's not true I think I've always been like I want my life normal still I I think when I was like at first blowing up I was like okay I want to move to LA I want to do all that well as I got older I was like fuck all that <laughs> like fuck that shit I don't even think that's the same anymore I think back in 2020 the YouTubers I was watching go out there it was a different world And I just think as I've gotten older, I'm like, okay, I blew up when I was like a junior in high school and people enjoyed watching me be a normal ass junior in high school. 
with my mom yelling at me about bad grades and my little brother who was in elementary school and my older brother was a grade above me and just people were like we like this is Sadie her normal life this is why we like her and I think I never want to be seen as now like oh my god she just got a following got money and now she just parties and doesn't do this anymore I don't want to make everything about partying but everyone my age now is partying that I know. Everyone in my personal life, I'm not like out here partying with all these A-list celebs and being like, fuck all y'all, I made it. I'm with my fucking hometown friends at the hometown bar talking about the girl who's pregnant from high school. Like, not gossiping. But do you know what I mean? I still like, I'm just living the normal fucking life and that's because small little things like that make me happy. And it's like, I never want people to think I just fucking am like, fuck everything. I have money I can just party my little heart out and never worry about anything again. No, it's just like, I just live life normally, I feel like, with my friends and do fun things like that. So from an outsider's perspective, I could get someone being like this fucking bitch with a following who just parties and posts pictures of herself in cute outfits, which is like 2% of the time, by the way. Um, No, I'm not that. I want to strain so far from that. And I think for me... I've gotten so in my head about trying to keep up with all these fucking new apps and things like that. Like, I remember when Emma Chamberlain, sorry, I'm really fucking ranting right now. I remember when she was on, like, a red carpet or something. By the way, I fucking love Emma. She's just, like, I feel like she went the LA route, but I feel like she loves fashion and all of that stuff, but she never switched up still. I think she just kind of grew to, like, not like it either, and I can see why, honestly. But when she was on, like, she was getting interviewed and she was, like, I find a really, they were like, what's your favorite TikTok trend? And she was like, no, my favorite trend is actually deleting social media apps. Like, I don't have TikTok anymore. And I was like, like, at first I watched it and I was like, what the fuck? And now I'm like, I fucking get it. She's like, yeah, fuck this shit. Like, I, I don't like it. And like, personally, I also don't TikTok for eight hours a day and like, let other people consume my lives. Like, why am I listening to random people tell me random stories? I don't know. But It's just, like, I think for someone who started with, like, this long-form YouTube content-making stuff, it's hard to try and switch over into that world. Like, I personally don't enjoy making TikTok videos. I just don't. And I feel like I have to do it in order to, like, keep up or, like, keep the relevance. And I'm just like, Sadie, this is not making you happy. Who cares if you're not fucking gaining the same amount of, like, attention that you were when you were 16, do what makes you happy and, like, be okay with it. So, anyways, I want to tell this story. I was in Boston literally two days ago, and we were leaving. I was there with my friends. My boyfriend was performing in Boston, but we were out at, there's this festival breakaway that's been, like, me and my friends went to it because Charlie actually performed at one in Ohio, And then they thought that we were, like, like, me and my friends that went, they were, like, oh, these are, like, cool girls. They should come to the Boston one. So we went, and um, we were leaving, like, the after party for this event called Breakaway, which Breakaway, by the way, so fun. Like, the people that work there really care about you. It's just awesome. I love it. So um, you should definitely go and look it up and see what that is. But we were at Breakaway at the after party and we were leaving the bar well in boston we didn't realize this boston if you're from there i don't know how you guys do it i guess the city sleeps early which means that like they were closing all the bars and shit like earlier than what they would do like down in the south or just other areas i don't know they just closed early and then also you can't get a fucking uber so we were literally waiting for ubers for so long and these like random ass people kept on trying to talk to us normal like they were just normal people but they just kept on trying to talk to us and we were so over it we just wanted to go home well something got brought up about me doing youtube and then this other guy was like oh i'm a youtuber also and i was like no way because i feel like nowadays no one does youtube anymore i'm staying on the app though i'll never leave i don't care um no one does youtube anymore i'm like wait no way and he's like yeah he thought i was fucking lying i didn't think he was lying i thought he was being real they were like yeah he actually has like almost a million subs on there or something and I was like no way and then we just got to talking about YouTube and stuff he makes like gaming videos I'm actually gonna tell you guys his name because this guy's fucking awesome go follow him on Instagram I'm not even kidding his name is Tommy his Instagram is link mon 99 
fucked with him heavy. Tommy, you're awesome. Anyways, his name was Tommy. And I was like, no way, I do YouTube too. And I, he was like, wait, let's subscribe to each other. Like, we have to. And I was like, okay, yeah. So we both pulled ours up and he was like, oh, like, shit, you actually do YouTube. And I was like, yeah. And I was like, oh, like, so do you. I was like, why haven't you uploaded in a while? And he was like, I don't know. He was like, it's just not what it used to be. And I literally was like, oh my God, like, I fucking know. Probably talked for 30 minutes to this guy. We both were just bonding over how it was like, we loved it and it was so fun. And then all of a sudden, like, you're, he was in, he went to college. So he was in college when he like grew on YouTube and he was like, it was really cool. But then I kind of was like, maybe I should move away from college and really just focus on this. And he was like, but I really just started realizing like, he was like, TikTok kind of started coming into play. And I felt like I was having to keep up literally exactly what I just explained to you guys. He was like, And I felt like just, like, everyone was on TikTok, and I, like, grew a following on there, but I was kind of just like, fuck this, I just want to make videos, like, I love. He was like, and then I felt like it wasn't really working, and he was like, people still cared, but you don't feel like they do, because it's just everyone's on a different app. And I was like, right, I get it. And he was like, and then I also took a step back and just realized, like, what do I love? What do I love doing? He's like, I love being with my friends. And his friends were right there just like listening to us talking and you could tell they just cared so much. He was like, I just love my friends and being in college with them and growing up with them. And like, I want to have a family one day and I want to have kids. He's like, I don't want to be fucking famous and sad. And I was like, fucking preach it to the gods, Tommy. I love you. And I was like, we just talked and it's just, it's such a real thing. It's such a real thing. And I know there's people that are like, I want to be famous as fuck. I want Billboard to write an article about me. I want fucking all these people to write articles about me. And if that's what you, like, I think some people really do want and strive for that and they get that and they're happy as fuck. And if you are that person, like I said, or if you want to be that person, I'm probably the not, not the right person to listen to because I don't want that at all. I don't care. Sure. If they want to write an article about me, look at my literal under poop sweat stain that's why I'm not getting an article written about me. Like, you know, it's, I'm turning my car on. Sorry. (laughs) Um, I'm probably not the right person to talk to. Granted though, someone like fucking Alex Cooper, like she's bigger than ever. And she's on here talking about sucking dick and like how big the dick was. And it's like, whoa, okay. So it is possible. And I want to say like, I don't want to be super negative about all of this. I think it's crazy or I think it is like a good thing how a lot more people are getting into social media and how it is saturated because it's like it shows how everyone's normal it shows how like anyone can do it and we're all human but I can't stand the industry the people that work in the industry not everyone just I hate being viewed as this fucking dollar sign it's like it's just disgusting to me and I realized too that it's not just entertainment. It's not just social media. It's not just fucking music, whatever the fuck. This happens in other work areas too. Like, it's like you feel like someone's put on a fucking pedestal. Someone's put pedestal high and we're all down here. Fuck that pedestal person. Get out of the way. That's God's spot, not yours. Like no one is better than anyone else on this earth. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Like no one cares. And that's part of my rant. So my advice to people who want to start social media, I keep it simple. Figure out what you like. If you like doing makeup videos, if you like fashion, if you like talking about your IBS and fucking irrelevant problems, if you like, if you want to start a family channel, if you want to just do that, and so many people are, A lot of people are doing it on, like, TikTok and stuff, which I fully support. I'm, like, not saying TikTok's a fucking bad place. I personally don't like it because I'm a fucking YouTuber. Like, that's what brought me up. So, of course, I'm going to be, like, TikTok kind of sucks. Granted, I still go on it and I still post on it. But it's just, like, a lot of people who are blowing up on TikTok, when TikTok starts fading away and something else comes in, they're going to be, like, fuck this other app. I want to do TikTok because I know how to do it. It's just a thing. People don't, like, change. Um... I want to say if you are someone who just wants to kind of have what I have, like for example, I make most of my income literally straight from you guys. So thank you. God bless you guys. 
It's literally like merch, my tanning stuff, my YouTube videos, sponsors. Yes, but you know, they're picky. I, I got to be picky with it too, because a lot of them are like, she's a little bit on the vulgar side of things. Um, but granted people like, I love my sponsors too. I love when people are like, we want you because you're real and you're not going to do this unless you actually fuck with us. And I'm like, damn fucking right. So I like that shit. Um, but I'm just saying my tips for people who want to do whatever, find your niche. And then also I think just be real because I think people love realness and people that are real, you find them with that dedicated ass audience. Benji Green. If you don't know who he is, look him up. He's been in a few of my YouTube videos. I want to have him on my podcast eventually. I went to high school with him. He never gave a fuck what anyone thinks, although I know when he probably went home, he did a little bit because that's how I was. I was like, I don't give a fuck what anyone thinks. Fuck you. I'm going to come to school looking like shit and cry because I want to go home. But granted, I did give a little bit of a fuck. And it's hard because you're worried about what people are thinking of you. I think online, you can get hate, you can get whatever, but at the same time, it's people behind a fucking screen. You just gotta really stick up for yourself. You just gotta really just be like, I don't care. This makes me happy, and there are people that fuck with me, so I'm just, I'm here for those people that fuck with me type thing. You just gotta be strong. Also, stick up for yourself when it comes to business and stuff. Don't let anyone fuck you over. Don't let anyone sell you the fucking dream, because I promise you it's probably not real. <laughs> I'm literally, this video is going to get taken down. I'm literally like, fuck everyone. Um, not really though. Like people are nice, but just, mm, I can't stand people in this world that think they're so cool. I'm like, babe, you still at the end of the day, we're both going to die. We both were born, came from the same place and like, we're both going to die. You're not invincible. You're not like, it's not like you have something that everyone doesn't money. Sure. Guess what? When you die, where, where is that going? Not to heaven with you, babe. Sorry. I just can't stand when people think they're so cool. I will never understand the mindset that people have where it's like, I'm cooler than you. I'm like, no, you're fucking... Okay, maybe you are a little bit, but like, no, you're not. Sorry. <laughs> um, anyways, I don't even know. I just rant. I don't even know where I was. Let me look at my notes. I did write a few down. If you can tell, I had a... I've had a hectic few days people just piss me off. You got to be able to stick up for yourself. You really, really do. And it's hard and it's scary and you're going to feel like everything's going to shit, but you just got to do it. A hundred bad days, AJR, they say when all, all is going wrong and you're scared as hell. I don't know the other lyric. And they say a hundred bad days make a hundred good stories and a hundred good stories make me interesting at parties. And to that, I say, take a shot because that's fucking great. <laughs> um, I think I talked about everything, actually. I, like, covered everything I wanted to. And, yeah, I don't mean to come on here and be a raging psychopath, but just there's been so much buildup and I think, everything I just screamed about. And it's so easy to fall into I'm not good enough or I'm not going to make it or... I need to listen to this person because they're more successful, but it's also like, are they happy? Who knows? Are they even happy? I just think focusing on your happiness, focusing on your family. I know some people aren't blessed with that. And if you're not, I'm your fucking family. Okay. And so is God. And I'm sure there's someone in your life that cares about you. And even when you think there's not, I guarantee you there will be. There will be. You're not going to never find people that ca don't care about you. Wait. Is that how I would word it? I don't know. I just want to, like, stress to you guys. It's all, like, everything's going to work out how it's supposed to be. It's all going to be okay. There is a plan for you. And just life is so fucking short. Like, when I get down in the fucking dumps about how YouTube died and Tickety Talk is taking over, I'm like, people are fucking growing up in the worst environments getting abused trigger warning i don't know if i'm supposed to say that just so much bad shit and it's like you just gotta take what you can get and be grateful for it and i hope i stress to you guys enough how grateful i am because i am i'm so blessed i'm so lucky i never want to quit on you guys i never will it's just i sometimes am not that perfect 
on the dot, uploading on time, clean <laughs> person. And that's just real. That's just, I'm like, I'm human. I'm not a fucking celebrity. I'm not fucking famous, whatever. Maybe I have a name that's popular, but like I still walk into McDonald's, order my McChicken and leave like other people. I'm not fucking royalty. And like, even if people are, we're all going to die. We're all on the same level. I just wish people would get that. Like we're literally all on the same level. Fucking the queen of Egypt. No, that's not a thing. Is it? The king and queen. Where is it? Like, yes, okay, they are royalty, but at the same time, they're still human. They're still human beings. I don't know. And I love when I meet you guys, too. And you guys are just, like... Like, obviously, I know some of you guys are, like, such in shock that you're, like, oh, like, my God, I never thought I would fucking see you in person. Or, like, some of you guys cry or whatever, but I never want to be that person who's, like... I don't know. Like, I just meet you guys and it's so real. It's just so real. It's not like, oh, you can see me for one second, but now I gotta go. Bye. Because I'm famous. No! Let's talk about your fucking dead hamster. Like, I don't care. I just, I'm, I'm like, almost like, why am I in this world? Because I'm so not made for it. But then you guys remind me, like, but, like, we love you. So, whatever. Like, even my podcast this morning, I was saying to my friends, like, do I even want to fucking do it anymore? Everyone has a podcast now. And everyone's like like granted i do want to have guests on but it's going to be people i know personally not from you guys industry people will be like let's get like you sign with a company and we're going to get you put on this podcast and this podcast and this guest is going to come on yours and it's going to be really good for publicity and i'm like but i don't fucking care and i don't think you guys do either like you guys are like have your little brother on and i'm like exactly that's what you guys want and that's what i want like i want to do that type of shit and um This morning, I was like, should I even have a podcast anymore? Like, sometimes I feel like I just can't be consistent enough with it. And I don't know if people, like, I can't make that promise to people because I don't make money from it. And that's my decision, my choice, because I don't want to deal with that bullshit. I have been thinking about starting, like, a Patreon and doing it on there. My friends Kristen and Whitney do that. And obviously, like, the audio would be on a bunch of different apps, but, like, the visual version would be like maybe if I am uploading like very consistently and I'm about to buy a studio and I'm low-key thinking about maybe doing it on there just because there's literally no like bullshit with it like it's like you don't have to put sponsorships in it which I kind of like the sponsorships because it's like very quick and easy I'm literally not even speaking right at the moment I'm so ADHD um I'm not saying I'm never gonna not do sponsors or whatever but I'm just never gonna fucking like switch up on you guys and make this a podcast about like just I I don't want you guys to ever be like why is her fucking podcast like this now like they used to be so different you know so it's just like whatever I need to do to keep doing this and keep it the same I want to do so I've thought about maybe doing like a patreon or something or just being like listen someone can put ads on this bitch but they're not going to be annoying and I'm going to talk about whatever the fuck I want to talk about um and also the whole thing with not ending the podcast my friend was like Sadie I think you should keep doing it because even though everyone has a podcast sometimes I just need to get brought back down to like just because everyone else has a podcast and like they're having 50 million people promote it and work for it and whatever and paying them to do that you don't need to stop yours just because it's like homemade and like a shit show this is literally a shit show low-key wish I named this Sadie shit show because dead ass it is it's a fucking shit show and you guys are here for it and I love that um I feel like I'm going to watch this back to edit it. And I'm going to be like, what was I on? I am on week two of birth control. So this could be why all these emotions are flying. Um, also, why are my lips so chapped? I'm not understanding it. I do think I want to move out soon, guys. I think I am being like, okay, I want, but like, see, here's my thing. I'm not going to commit to anything long. It's going to be like a one month B&B situation. So I can go home after if I want. And, um... I just want to do that because I just kind of want to try it. I just think it'd be, like, fun to move out for, like, a month and then come back to mom and dad and be like, you've been pranked and still living at home. But I love living with my family. I think that's something also so, like, cool is I just love my family 
and I think it's so cool to be able to show you guys that like okay I have like a following I got the dream I always wanted I literally used to sit down and talk to God and be like God I want to do this so badly and if you give it to me I'm gonna do it the right way and I just hope you guys are real with me and you're honest with me and you go Sadie you're not who you used to fucking be I hope I can always be the same and I hope I can always be real I hope you guys say you want to hear anything about this social media bullshit go to Sadie she'll tell you straight up because I fucking will I'm not gonna lie about shit like honestly I'm talk too much but I just wanted to say I love you guys I'm sorry I've been MIA I'm gonna try and be here as much as I can and it's all gonna be okay that's what I just want to say it's all gonna be okay everything's gonna be okay be proud of yourself just because I have a following doesn't make me any better than any, any of you just because you can't see the Bermuda triangle what's it called Bermuda Bermuda whatever on the side of my cheek doesn't mean I'm hot and how is she so pretty and her skin coat so clear it's not just because I don't fucking know just why do we compare ourselves to everyone else like we shouldn't and this goes for anyone I'm not just trying to sit here and talk about social media my life and if you do social media I genuinely think this should resonate with everyone school work fucking your family maybe your friends I don't know no one's better than you no one is and if they make you feel like they are fuck them they're not or help them be like yo why do you think you're better than me because i'll fucking beat you in soccer right now i don't know let's read um today's devotional i have this in my car now i normally have it on my nightstand but i realized i normally get in my car every single day so we're gonna read today what's the date today it's september 18th i also need to get more on god's side because i haven't been talking to him enough lately okay seek to please me above all else slay i love where we're starting off let the goal be your focal point as you go through this day or let that goal be your focal point as you go through this day such a mindset will protect you from scattering your energy to the winds the free will i bestowed on you comes with awesome responsibility each day presents you with choice after choice Many of these decisions you ignore and thus make by default. Without a focal point to guide you, you can easily lose your way. Slay. That's why it is important to stay in communication with me. He's talking right to me right now. Living in thankful awareness of my presence. Slay, God. You inhabit a fallen, disjoint world. Facts. Where things are constantly unraveling around the edges. Only a vibrant relationship with me can keep you coming unraveled too okay okay does that not literally go right with what we're saying we are in a fallen disjointed world where things are constantly unraveling around the edges and an only vibrant relationship with me can keep you coming unraveled too i resonate with that because i feel like he's saying this world just keeps moving and it's not a perfect world we live in especially like it's just not and in order for us to keep moving and keep up with it even though sometimes we don't want to you gotta be with him and i love that whoa i'm gonna order mexican food now because i just sweated out pounds i think by the way coming georgia seven tequilas best mexican food you will ever eat it's a little on the pricey side but it's fucking awesome crazy bitch out um i love you guys and i will see you at an unpromised time but hopefully soon Love ya. I want to go to Brazil. Go listen to that song. It's happy.